Howdy guys, it is Rockstar TK here. So we're gonna have to warp to Windfall. We've got a really important place to go. We have to head in a part in a specific direction to apparently to actually go to D1, where Triforce Shard 2 is located. Shine right there, that's where you know the Triforce Shard is located in particular when those shines are really that high up though. When you really can see it, especially from a far distance, that's where it is. Now I just sailed past it like I did to Triforce Shard 1. So Triforce Shard 2, and sail back to it again. So when you hear the sound of the, that you know, you're near over a treasure, then that's pretty much in particular, make sure it's as loud as possible, to, and then you can like uh, get, then that way you can actually pick it up. You know, these sails, even with the warp, you know, the of the cyclones, you know, they, you know, sometimes these things can be so long, like they, like they can be really, really painful to watch the whole entire thing. It's just like, yeah, it's, it takes way too long. That's why I always like try to like I like to you know cut out like a chunk of these things. All right, there it is. Another long shine. We can just. Grab right around here. Nope, that's not it. These treasures sometimes they kind of like to move around with the waves sometimes because the waves are moving around. So you know you want you really want to check the chart very frequently and make sure that you're over the X mark where the uh, actual treasure really is.
out of this match because Tricor Shard 4 is there. Alright, well, we're almost at it, I think. Wow, I can't believe it's like how's that island itself right there. Okay, I cannot even believe it myself either, but actually, it's actually the easiest one to get. Here we are at D5, we, uh, where Triforce Shard 5 is located. because we're at D6. Yeah, I think I think at the very most you would have to actually uh, you know, sail like one spot over. You know, because like because on the warp point, if you could, the point might be either at or right next to the next destination of a Triforce shard. So. I mean, at the very elite, at the very, very, uh, worst case, it shouldn't be that bad if, uh, compared to, like, before we actually had the feature of warping using VS Light Cyclones. Alright, let's see, the Triforce Shard 6, yeah, we're on the Triforce Shard 6. Alright, watch out for these guys, let's, let's actually go to a, a nearby island in this area to take out all these these enemies here surrounding us to make sure that they cannot bug us while we're trying to get Triforce Shard. I would highly suggest you do that actually, so that way that way you're only, the only thing you can have to do is that you get, you get the Triforce Shard. Well, at least these guys over here, these are really annoying. I got 
Alright, so now after you got them all taken out, then you can do it. Alright, on over on the, onto the boat and get the Crying Horse shot. This. To get the seven star aisles in F1, you'd have to actually just go right up north of the Just right up there. Actually, why? Why did I have to? I did not have to play the the Wind Waker, uh, the Wind Requiem there, because it was already blowing in the direction that I needed it to blow. at it now. We gotta, just gotta go re equip the uh, grappling hook. You sometimes have to change the, you know, the, uh, the equipping on your items. A lot of times throughout the whole game, not just in the temples. I remember back in the wind temple, that was like so much changing of the items you had to do around here and there on the buttons. Wow, did it. A Triforce chart, a Shard 7. Not a chart, it's a Shard. And now finally, if I can get to the last Triforce Shard, Triforce Shard 8, come right, you warp right to here, and then, or, or, or you, if you can't, you have to sail down to here. Here at D7. Well, and I'm uh, the bomb is like stuck in the air. <laughs> you gotta actually watch out for these cannons. Some of them are not even on the ship. Some of them are on the wall. Alright, anyway, so next time on the Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we will head back to the Hyrule Castle. Take care, y'all. See you next time.